Michigan Highway 1. Yeah! All right, the M1, otherwise known as Woodward Avenue for most of its stretch, is quite a road. It's a historical road, it's an important road, and it predates the U.S. numbered highway system. Let's take a look at the route of M1. It goes from Pontiac, Michigan to downtown Detroit. And M1 used to be U.S. 10, and before that it was Michigan Highway 10 before the U.S. highway system existed. And it is now M1 ending in downtown Detroit. All right, we're gonna be going generally southbound, but We'll be looking a little in both directions here, but we're not doing a whole northbound run. Here we are in the loop in Pontiac, Michigan. This is the Woodward Avenue loop, and we're actually going north a little bit right here. And right here we meet the northern end of this loop, and we get North Business 24, and South Business 24, South Business Loop 75, is signed for Detroit. And again, this all used to be US 10, both North and South 24 business. And so we see at this point on Woodward, as we round this curve, we are on South Business Loop 75, Business 24, and West M59. And here we are heading toward downtown Pontiac, so we have the part where 59 will split off, so we see East 59 and West 59, we get control cities and everything. Cool. And we are signed for South 75 and South Business 24. Here at Huron Street, we get a look at old downtown Pontiac. So this is downtown Pontiac, quite a ways away from the Silver Dome, which is no longer there, of course. And here is where the loop will be reuniting with the northbound lanes. This is right around where we started. You're watching Control City Freak. This is the YouTube channel where we talk about highways and the places that they're signed to go to. If you dig this kind of content, why not give us a like? And if you really like it, why not subscribe? Yeah, subscribe. All right, so this is a memorial sort of thing for Woodward Avenue. We see these, they light up at night, but there's no night street view, of course. There's a few of these along Woodward Avenue. And here we see we are still on South Business Loop 75 and 2 M1. M1 hasn't actually started yet. And we're also on Southbound Business 24. And we get this nice time sign to find out how long it'll be to the intersection of 696 and I-75. And via M1, it will be 20 minutes. Via I-75, 19 minutes. So not much difference. Hopefully we get there a lot faster. To get to I-75, you're going to want to take Square Lake Road. Keep right, and Business Loop 75 and Business 24 are going to be leaving us, and we will continue south on M1 from this point, the beginning of M1. Ah, good, it is Square Lake Road. Just to be fair, I'm not familiar with the Detroit metro area at all. I've only ever been to the Detroit airport. That's the extent of my Detroit. We see that it's going to be Square Lake Road, and also, this sign indicates a Michigan left. So, kind of an interesting feature in this area. So you turn right, and then you do a U-turn to go left. You cannot turn left going directly as you normally would. So, eh, kind of good, I think, kind of good. And that is to get to South Business Loop 75 to get back to I-75. And we get this sign here telling us we're on Woodward Road, an All-American Road, and that certainly is true. It is named an All-American Road. It's part of the National Federal Highway System because of its importance, even though it's just a surface street. And it is quite historic, dividing East and West Detroit. We enter Bloomfield Hills, the Tony suburb here. Way back, my first internet experience was meeting some girl on a message board from Bloomfield Hills when I was 15 years old, and so was she. Supposed to meet up with her at an amusement park, but never did. Too bad, if she lived here, she was probably super rich. She could have bought me a couple of funnel cakes there. And just looking around Bloomfield Hills, this is just right off of Woodward, right off of M1, so pretty rich little area here. And here we've got Cranbrook, that's a private school. <laughs> We get a nice reassurance shield for South M1, and through Bloomfield Hills, it is just this wooded avenue kind of thing that we have going. <laughs> Big Beaver Road. And we are now in Birmingham, Michigan, and if you take Old Woodward, you will go right through downtown. We will be taking the bypass, but it still comes pretty close to downtown on M1. So here we are just off of downtown Bloomington on M1. So you can see it's still pretty downtown-y so far as downtown suburbs go. And we're getting a 14 mile road. I think that last one in Bloomington might've been 15 mile. And now 13 mile road, we get another one of these Woodward Road monument sort of things. And now we're making it a 12 mile road. Yeah, Metro Detroit doesn't like to name their streets, at least their big ones. And now we're gonna be meeting 696 and the Detroit Zoo, right two lanes, because Woodward will split off and go under the entire section. 
And here we see Woodward Avenue is going to have its tunnel. And here you can get to 696 and the Detroit Zoo, although you're not obligated to go to either, despite what the sign may show. Here is the entrance to the Detroit Zoo, and the Xavier 456 requested this, so thank you so much. I really appreciate that request. On an older street view, this actually had a Detroit Zoo water tower painted here, but it looks like they've now painted it just white. But I liked this angle because you can also see the ramp onto 696 and its control cities of Fort Huron and Lansing. The Xavier 456 made that request by putting in a $5 super thanks, as any of you guys can, and I appreciate that. Everybody who does that. The next one that we have that I have open will be California 57 in a couple of weeks and Interstate 880 in Oakland the week after that. You can also make requests on the Patreon if you subscribe to one of the higher levels or you can join it just to support the channel. Yeah. Here is what it looks like when we are going under 696 and its frontage road, the Detroit Zoo Road that's right here. And if you got up at the Detroit Road exit, this is what it looks like going over 696. Coming from the northbound lanes, you see this exit for Detroit Zoo and Main Street, as well as 696. You see these signs all the time, so North M1, a U-turn. This is a result of that Michigan left phenomenon that I talked about. So people would turn right onto southbound M1 and hit the U-turn to go to northbound M1. Now we're getting a nine mile road. All right, eight mile road, here we go. And we get a nice pull through sign, Woodward Avenue, Detroit, M1, straight ahead. Here's what it looks like going over 8 Mile, and it's a little bit of a freeway-ish kind of thing itself. And on 8 Mile Road itself, here is the exit for Woodward Avenue. Once passing 8 Mile, we enter the city of Detroit, so we see a Detroit thing right away. And now we make it to 7 Mile Road, still not too built up out in these areas, still pretty far out of town. And now we're going to be meeting McNichols Road, which I think is 6 Mile Road. And after we cross McNichols, we are now in the city of Highland Park. So we see that Highland Park banner right next to this snooty bar. This is what Woodward Avenue looks like in Highland Park. We see right over here, there's the Model T Plaza, a strip mall sort of thing that is named after the Model T because that's where they used to build them, right there. Here's another look at the Model T Plaza and we can see the old Ford plant right behind it. So this is where they made the Model Ts back in 1914. Now we're meeting M8 here in Highland Park and this is also kind of a freeway. We cross over the M8 and that is indeed a freeway looking thing right there. We don't get any kind of welcome to Detroit sign, but Highland Park is an enclave within Detroit. It's surrounded by Detroit entirely, and we are crossing back into the Detroit city limits. The only indication we have is that the pavement changes right here. Here is the Cathedral of the Most Blessed Sacrament, and I'm just showing that because it seemed to be the biggest church along this drag, but for the next couple of miles, there are a whole lot of religious institutions, lots of churches, synagogues, all kinds of religious buildings going on for the next little bit here. And this is the Fisher Building, a nice looking building as we head into what's known as Mid City or New City. And we see from this point on, there's going to be a light rail right here on Woodward Avenue. So that's pretty cool. That wasn't there very recently recently, but that has gone in not too long ago. So good infrastructure work in rebuilding Detroit here. Here is New Center at Grand Boulevard, and that is the Cadillac Place. And shortly thereafter, we go right by Detroit's Amtrak station. So the Amtrak station is not downtown, but if you were to take a train into Detroit, you could get on this light rail here and take it right downtown. So that is pretty well set up. Now we're crossing over I-94. I looked and we didn't really have any signs for entrances onto it, although there is construction in this area right now, so it could be just missing for the time being. Going northbound, you do get a 2 I-94 keep right. And on I-94 itself, we do have a Woodward Avenue exit. We're now coming toward Midtown and the Wayne State University area. So it seems like there's a lot going on over here. Here's a Wayne State building. We pass the Detroit Institute of Arts, which looks to be a pretty nice museum. I'd definitely like to check it out sometime. And then we pass the historic Maccabee building, which is owned by Wayne State University. It's got pretty good views on top of it for the actual skyline of Detroit, which is still a couple miles further down. As again, we're not downtown yet, we're still in midtown Detroit. 
We're gonna be meeting I-75 and M-10. Again, this used to be M-10, then it was US-10, and now it's M-1. M-10 is now the Lodge Freeway, and also former US-10, like this is. There's a whole lot of theaters in Midtown. This majestic theater is pretty cool looking. And in general, again, I've not been to Detroit. I don't really know much about Detroit, but this looks very cool. This Midtown area, there seem to be all kinds of things going on, various kinds of transit and lots of cool looking bars and restaurants and stuff. I want to check it out. This is a nice looking theater. It's in the National Registry of Historic Places. It was a synagogue originally, then became a theater, and they're actually in the process of converting it to a hotel now. And just to show a little bit what development has been happening in Detroit, at least on some of these major roads like Woodward, this is what it looked like in 2014, this stretch of road, a little further down in Midtown. And now they have the new Joe Louis Arena, or whatever they're calling it these days revamped Joe Louis Arena, home of the Pistons and of the Red Wings. And we've got uh, like street separated rail right there, not in traffic, cool stuff. Here's a look at downtown as we head toward I-75. We have this two south I-75 thing and we're really downtown once we cross I-75. And here's a look at I-75 itself. And here we pass the famous Fox Theater. I've read a couple of years, the Fox Theater actually sells more tickets than Radio City Music Hall. And right down past the Fox Theater, we pass New Tiger Stadium, or whatever they're calling it these days, and the Kansas City Royals will be there playing baseball right after this episode posts, so the Royals have been looking pretty good so far, although I'm recording this over a week away until the game, so they might have lost six in a row by now, who knows? Hope not, though. And right behind New Tiger Stadium, we've got whatever they're calling the Silver Dome these days, where the Lions play. And right here at the Grand Circus, right past the stadiums, this is actually the end of M1, so we get this end M1 sign, but it is not the end of Woodward Avenue, so we will continue down Woodward. So here's a look at Woodward as we cross this circus. So we see it's a little narrower of a road at this point, but then again, it is downtown. And we pass the People Mover. I've always wanted to ride the Detroit People Mover. And we see down here, it's looking very urban, smaller street and nothing but a wall of buildings. So pretty cool looking here. And now we are getting down to the Campus Martius where Woodward Avenue will do a circle around the entire thing. This is where the NFL Draft is going to be a couple days or maybe the day that I drop this video as well. Or part of the NFL Draft will be right down here. So we'll take Woodward Avenue down. Right here we have the intersection of Woodward and Michigan. Michigan Avenue is currently US 12, and this is the end of US 12 right down here in downtown Detroit. Here's a look at the park itself. This is where a lot of the NFL draft stuff will be set up, right inside this park. And we get to the south end, and we have a choice of South Woodward and Woodward. So a little confusing. Either way we go, we're going to be on Woodward. So we're going to loop back around. We have this statue that is at the bottom of the campus. And here is Cadillac Square, and this is where some of the draft is going to be held as well, out here in Cadillac Square. I think this is where ABC is setting up. We're getting back toward the northern end of it, and this was just a cool looking building, so I added a picture of that. And we are gonna go back onto South Woodward at this point. We are gonna head right down south. We've reached as far south as we can drive here at Larned and Woodward. This is another people mover stop and we've got a pedestrian plaza after this and we'll continue south. So right here we have this statue. I think this is called the Spirit of Detroit. This is a fairly famous thing. It was in that Detroit commercial with Eminem. And now we get to Hart Plaza, which is also going to be hosting the NFL Draft. So some of the draft stuff that'll be going on will be here in this much larger plaza on the Detroit River. And back in the background there, we see the Renaissance Center, the headquarters of GM. And so we have come all the way down to the Detroit River and we see Windsor on the other side. And let's take a look back and we can see the downtown Detroit skyline from the River Park. Pretty nice looking skyline. And we got to move into the very bottom of Woodward Avenue once again and we see the Joe Lewis Memorial. Obviously I can't finish without having that. That's such a cool looking sculpture there. So I'd have to include that in here. That shall end M1 for us. And let's take a look at Todd's the way it should be, even though this more of a street than a arterial highway kind of thing. I'm just gonna say North Pontiac and South Detroit. I guess you could say Highland Park, but I don't know, Pontiac's more famous probably because of the former Silverdome. All right, thank you so much for watching this episode of Control City Freak. 
We will be back next week for 264, which will be right in time for the Kentucky Derby, although requests for that are no longer open because by the time you see this video, I will have already recorded the other one. So thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, my name is Todd. Keep on trucking.